this video, we're going to be talking about five things you need to do to be more productive in 2022. Hi, my name is Sheila. Whew. Let's see. We're wrapping up 2021. We're into 2022 now. The start of the new year is typically one of those times when you have people divide themselves into two camps. They're like, oh, you know, it's a new year, new me. I'm going to make my new year's resolutions. I'm going to set my goals down. I'm going to have a vision board. I'm going to chart everything out and be ready to go. I'm going to come back and review things every quarter, make adjustments, move forward. Then you have the camp over here that says, well, I don't make New Year's resolutions. I just work on my goals all year. <laughs> Guys, I don't care which camp you're in. If you're trying to be more productive, none of that really matters. You can always at any point in time say, hey, right now is a good time for me to decide to be more productive. Number one. All right, start a morning routine and try to include exercise in your morning routine. Look, studies have shown, and this has been proven, that people who exercise in the morning tend to be more productive throughout the rest of the day. And here's the other thing. If you have a schedule and you start your day working on all of those things that you're supposed to do, you've got your morning routine in place, you know it is ingrained these are the tasks that are going to be the first things you accomplish then you get your mindset already like on this path toward being productive so go ahead figure out what your best morning routine is going to be and then start to do that every day you can always make tweaks figure out what is working what is not working double down on what is working go back and maybe kick to the curb some of the things that aren't but go ahead and plan that first part of your day because as the day goes on, there are so many distractions and interruptions that things that you had hoped to get done later, you guys know those things just don't get done because other things pop up. All right, number two, be intentional about your use of social media. <laughs> Let me tell you, I get on social media sometimes and I'm just like, oh my God, wait, how many, how many minutes have I been up here? Like I'm looking at my screen time this week versus last week, because now it'll tell you. One of the things you may want to consider doing is turning off some of these social media notifications that automatically notify you when somebody has posted, when somebody has shared a new video, when somebody is live. Look, all that is doing is interrupting your scheduled day and the things that you need to get done. So when you go onto social media, make sure you're being intentional about why you're there. I'm there because I need to post my latest Instagram photo that has my links to all the other things that I have going on, maybe merchandise that I'm selling, videos that I'm promoting. Whatever the reason is, just make sure you're being intentional about your use of social media so that it doesn't become this like full time suck and then next thing you know, half your day is gone. Number three, all right, consider overhauling or taking a look at redoing whatever it is, okay, whatever you wanna call it, your workspace, your work environment, and make it more efficient. Like you should not have to go search for things that you use every day. If you know that you're going to be using your printer, then your printer should be in a place that's easily accessible. I don't use my printer that often, so it is actually in another room. I also have another printer that is, um, I guess set up on the internet, whatever you call it, in the cloud, so I can actually use it that way. But make sure that you're not having to go on a mission all the time for certain things. You wanna keep those things within a certain space. You wanna make sure that you can get to them and that you're having, not having to go search for them. Number four, minimize distractions. Look, I've got a window here, window here, and then another window back there, okay? I've got three windows here. I can get easily distracted sometimes. If you're that person who every time a squirrel goes by or every time a bird flies by, you're like looking at that. Next thing you know, you're daydreaming. Okay, you might need to change the setup of where your desk is. You know, for me, sometimes it might be, oh, the FedEx guy's here. Is he bringing something for me? Is that Amazon? Is that, that's Amazon, right? Okay, time to rearrange that. And it's not just the setup. We all, you know, know that a lot of people are working from home and now, and now the sun is like full on me. We all know that lots of people are working from home now, and it could be that you have family members that are coming in. Let them know what your schedule is. Let them know when you'll be taking breaks so that they know that they're not interrupting you, and they know that at that point in time, you can give them your full and undivided attention. 
And then finally, number five, protect your time. Look, time is that one resource you cannot get back. If my house burned down, you know, hopefully I can get a loan, build another house. If somebody came and stole my car, well, you know, I could get another car. If I needed to find another job, I can look for another job. Time, I cannot go back and get yesterday. They have not built a time machine yet. And so you need to make sure you are protecting your time. Make sure that you're scheduling things that are priorities for you early in the day so that you can know that those things are getting taken care of. Because once other people will start to invade your priorities for those times, then you're just not gonna be able to get it back. And then finally, you don't have to make all of these changes at one time. It's like, Sheila said there are five things that I could be looking at to be more productive in 2022. Pick one or two, start with them. See which ones work, which ones don't, change them up decide on some others. Hey, it's up to you. It's about you living your best life and not somebody else's. And if you're looking to be more productive in 2022, figure out which ones are going to work for you and then go for it. All right. My name is Sheila. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed and peace.